Today, let's talk about New Year's resolutions, right? Listen, I love this time of year. This is a time of year. It seems like between Thanksgiving and Christmas, we become more thankful, don't we? Uh, kind of we focus on uh, some of the more important things in our life, and that automatically makes us more introspective. We self-examine more, and the result of this is we start thinking about being better, right? Now, Ogman Dino said it this way, inside me burns a flame to be better than I am, and it's passed down from generation to generation. So it's natural at this time of year, about to start a new year, that we think about what do we want from the new year? What do we want to be in the new year? Who do we want to be in the new year? And we start making resolutions, right? Now, what's the problem with resolutions, right? They say most resolutions don't last very long, right? You go to anybody's house, you go downstairs and you see their, their bow flex or their, their ski machine and it's covered with clothes hanging on it, right? So what happened? Uh, I go to Planet Fitness at lunch and in January, the parking lot is full and February it's less full. By March, it's back the way it was all year. What happened? We've made good decisions. We know what we want. We want it better. But somehow, making decision is a lot easier than actually doing <laughs> the work to get there, right? Can I tell you something? We need a better plan. We, if we truly want to change, it's simple. And the first thing we have to do is change the word change because <laughs> we don't like change. We fear change. Let's call it this. Instead of changing this year, Let's improve this year. So let's change the way we think about our New Year's resolutions. Let's change the way we think about change. And let's talk about improving. In this series, we're going to give you a surefire path to become better in 2019 than you were in 18. We're going to give you a surefire path that will help you accomplish those goals that before you've tried and failed, tried and failed. We're going to give you a path that if you follow it, guarantees you success. Right now. Uh, while you're waiting for the next video or in between this video and the next one, maybe you should do this. Maybe you should sit down and think to yourself, what's the one thing that if I did it better, more consistently, would have the biggest impact on my personal life? What's the one thing if I did it more consistently, if I did it better, would have the biggest impact on my professional life? This is a good place to start and a, a good place to meditate on before we get into the actual process and the rules for change or the rules uh, for self-improvement.